Greetings, everyone, and thank you for rejoining me here in TNO, playing as, of course, the United Kingdom. Uh, however, it was brought to my attention from your comments yesterday that this is not quite the normal flag. We are missing the lines in the background, so to a person who's not from the UK, I didn't realize that. Yeah, we are missing those lines back there, so thank you with your keen eyes for telling me or reinforming me about my ignorance of the UK. But anyways, hope you're having a great day. Another comment, well, really the comment I asked you guys yesterday was whether we should do targeting corruption in local authorities, which we lose some jobs, but then we get, get some jobs, get some more resources down this path, or we target the corrupt companies. Now, we lose jobs, and then we get some jobs. We lose resources, that should be noted. Mm, we lose even more resources, popular support goes up, and then we eventually get a small decrease in jobs, but at the same time, we get a lot more fuel gain, and <clears throat> we get a higher poverty rate, or actually technically a smaller poverty rate, but a better poverty rate societal development rate. So, uh, there's support for both sides here, for me to do either one, and ultimately at the time of this recording, I can't like wait all day for people to give me all this support, so it basically came down to probably targeting corrupt companies. Well, it makes sense for us to target corruption and local authorities, especially since we are focusing so hard on GDP and the economy. But we're going to go down this path because there's ultimately, at the time of this recording, a little bit more support for this path. Even though this both sides make sense. Like, don't get me wrong. I really want to focus on the economy and stuff. But if we can help out the poverty rate as well. And we can always get slightly more and more jobs through our decisions and events and stuff like that. Even though I would love to do both, actually, to be honest with you. So we're just going to go, go and do this. Because we don't want corrupt companies. That hurts the small person. And that's who we ultimately want. And... One of the reasons why someone, some people recommended this other side is that it makes sense for Thatcher to want to get more local support and authority support in, you know, localities and counties, but we already have so much overwhelming support that the people would probably be able to follow us regardless if we did this, because everyone has voted for us, basically, in the last few elections. But, targeting the corrupt companies. The government has decided to focus on the danger of anti-government threats within the business industry. Bringing the CEOs to heal and bringing, burning out the corruption in English companies is, by far, more important to the stability of the nation than to draining the power of local city authorities. We have the names, we have the power, we must now act. Especially multinational corporations, but that's just me. Alright, so last time, we discovered that we have an oil crisis, and we have quite the deficit. <clears throat> even before we were doing that, even before the oil crisis happened, we were run we were cutting spending like crazy, investing in the GDP, cutting down on debt, but now Iraq is just exploded, and, ugh, can America get involved and invade Iraq? It's only 1970, but still, can, can they do that, please? Uh, it looks kind of happy, Mustafa. Well, at least a lot of these nations are getting defeated quickly, so. Uh, targeting corrupt, oh, that was fast. That was really, really fast. So we lost probably a little bit of our GDP, so be it. Uh, actually, let's look at the support first. Come on, let's see. We have 106% support. 99, 98%, that's that's so good. Reconstruct the Royal Navy, we're done with that. We're done with the election season for now. Uh, let's increase our jobs. So, where are, the, where are the CEOs during the war? The investigation has begun. A massive inquiry into the sympathies of the CEOs and other business figures is fully underway. And every traitor will soon be exposed for all of England to see. Admittedly, the leader of the Royalist, Royalist Party have acted rancorously towards Thatcher and those supporting the act and claiming that we must not alienate our allies in the business world, but the reception from the common people has proven to be overwhelmingly positive. Give us more goods, even though we do lose resources to market, which isn't nice, but whatever. It is what it is. Me with industrial dress. We've done that so many times. I think we're kind of okay in not doing that. Let's go ahead and slash the budgets more. Even though it doesn't really do much for us. You know what would be kind of cool? With this military and civilian spending, you cut it down once and like 15%, you know, minus the cost. What would if you could do it just like the construction? Like, like in modern day. Like, you cut down about 50%. Okay. we got to wait like a month or two. If you want to, you can cut by another 15%. What if you really wanted to do something like that? That sounds kind of interesting. Cut civilian spending, cut it down by 15%, and then another 15%, and then another level of 50% if you would really want to do that. I think that'd be kind of interesting if that was actually in the game. But it's currently not, but you know, I just think that might be kind of cool. Uh, let's see. We could get more efficiency. I mean, we're already at 77.5. I mean, that's pretty darn good. Let's go ahead and grab some more popular support. Yes. It decreases elite support, but whatever. 95 to 100% is really good. So, anything here? No, yep, good. How about we do force them to bend the knee? We could keep going down this way, but let's see if we do this. 
Send the words or send the letters and wave goodbye. Thatcher's consolidation of powers increased her ability to deal with the subversives, uh, subversives within the party. Uh, traitors and threats to our po power will be fired without hesitation in the fall of the oligarchs. You know, when I became the leader of my party, there was plenty of chatter about things that, that could and couldn't be done, said Thatcher, carefully looking at each camera dead in turn, and keeping her voice low and down to the earth as her vocal coach had instructed her to do so. Margaret, as it would call me, you can't oppose the corporate CEOs, you can't promote a free meritocracy, and you certainly can't keep monetized or moneyed interest out of our elections. The reporters suppressed their laughter, knowing full well the events that presented this briefing. Margaret herself snickered for a moment, too, glad her words were landing correctly. Yes, well, as most of you know, my administration has sought to do just that. We've arrested these so-called elites who have feel entitled to occupy the positions of authority that more rightfully belong to honest, hard-working Britons. These very same oaths who earned their place through nepotism alone and felt that they had the right to bribe their right through our political system. Well, I think England has had quite enough of it, haven't we? We should be holding these positions in the government's trust until proper candidates can fill them, as well as confiscating the, the, the plundering wealth and estates that these inept twits and putting it towards reparations for the English people. These funds shall build schools, renovate hospitals, and even put more officers on the streets to ensure public safety. Is there any wonder why these people love her? Well, at least the populace loves her. The elites? Probably not so much. Probably not so much. But understandably so. And we're slowly running out of fuel. Ooh. Every man works, huh? Cool. See, the English military is not looking bad at all. Please give me an event to go invade Ireland. I want to become a truly English person and invade the Irish, please. Wow, if we didn't cut civilian spending, we'd increase our debt by 2.3 billion? Oh my goodness! That is so much. Uh, as much as we probably shouldn't be investing this much into civilian factories, let's do it some more. Let's do it some more. Because as much as I love building up infrastructure, let's get her done. What are we... Do we have a deficit of anything besides tanks? We always have a deficit of tanks. That's because we already have one tank division out that's kind of slowly getting better. Hey! Oh, wait, Kurdistan. Wait, what? Oh, the Syrian Republic is here. Where did you come out? Oh, they're allied with the UA... What the heck? UAS. Huh. Okay, well, whatever. Saying goodbye. The Royal Party meeting. The latest opposition. The new boss again. Um, We still need to do stuff down here. The carrot and the stick. We still have to do stuff, well, we could do that, but we don't want to lose political power. We still have to do stuff over here as well. Efficiency will mildly increase. Might not be bad. Uh, factory output wouldn't be bad either, but even though we're doing pretty darn well, honestly. This stuff is all nice, but it's not really necessary yet. We can build a carrier. Hmm. Bend the knee. Well, let's just do this one. The Royal Party Meeting. With the victory lap complete, the Royal Party shall hold its first official cabinet meeting to discuss the future of British policy. With five years of experts, experience at her back and lessons of the English politics ingrained to her mind, Thatcher is readier, or ready, more ready for whatever may happen. Look at that. 79 billion? I think so. Wow. That, the deficit is 3.6 billion, though. Oh, my goodness. Pinky. That is one thick unity pack. Not gonna lie. That is... That's something fierce. So, what does it say? Hold on. Change the air. A Scottish right to become Scottish protests. Siberian Mutual Assistance Pact. Well, ah, oh, that's the Urals. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, yeah, all the fighting down here, and oh my goodness, that's disgusting. Cool. Uh, jobs, anyone? Mm. Actually, how's this coming along? The Royal Party meeting? Ooh, oh, we did become factory complexes. It'd be nice to go with modern industrial equipment and cutting industrial equipment. Uh, it's still going up, though, by 225, 2.25. Army professionalism is going up, that's good. Industrial expertise is stagnant, which really sucks, though. Poverty rate is slowly going up as well, not bad, not bad. We'd like to get down to, uh, probably down here. Actually, really down here first. That'd be good. So, ladies, opposition, which we'll read after we do meeting the new boss again. Thatcher proved victorious in the meeting and has demonstrated her absolutely iron grip on the Royal Party. Its future will be shaped to follow her ideals alone. Anything else here? No. Okay, so, if I may for a moment, uh, uh, Mr. Speaker, be allowed, I'd like to address the right honorable gentleman, Reginald Maudling, Thatcher said, addressing Parliament for the first time since the re-election. Reggie, I'd like to applaud you and your party for a campaign while run your speeches about how you will bring national stability and an end to corruption were, were very well done, but then I've always been a fan of fiction as a genre. Ho! Oh. She stands smiling as her own party let out a raucous round of here, hears, and the opposition jeered her pro their protest until the Speaker was forced to call the entire session to order. And now that I've addressed to the United Farce Party, I'd like to let the real opposition know that I'm aware of them. No, the real opposition to my administration are not reformist wingbats, 
windbags, but rather those oaks within my own party who so have yet to come to an understanding that they are living in a new Britain. The Iron Ladies Britain. But rest assured that I have four more years to ensure that they learn. These are changes coming to the royal party. Oh my goodness. She's getting kind of kind of fierce and spicy. Woo. And job growth, anyone? Cool. I kind of want to keep a little smidgen of extra army X, army XP. Uh, political power, just in case we might need it later. So, I'm going to do have a cup of good English coffee to keep us nice and hot. Silence the old guard. Blame them for the mistakes of the past. Ooh, we lose stability. Show the people what the future has in store. I kind of like that one. Gain more political power. We lose elite support, but at this point, it doesn't really matter. Let's force them to bend and need first, though. The inquiry results will inevitably lead to the dramatic exposure of anti-government CEOs throughout the country. While treason is usually a punishable offense without question, we must not let our judgment be blinded by anger. We will present the CEOs with a choice. They can bend the knee to the government, or we will destroy them. Those who acquiesce to our demands will be controlling will be controlled like puppets, thus ensuring some semblance of stability in the business world. Those who refuse, however, will be thrown into prison with no chance of release. Um, this seems kind of, uh... Okay, well, whatever. It's, it, it's for corruption's sake. It's for corruption's sake, yeah. You know what? We have enough clout, we can do that. Because we're going to get more influence anyway, so it doesn't matter. Good. 0.88, not bad. Then go on. Further recovery from monetary reform. Yes! We've reached a milestone recently, though no one can pick out exactly what it happened. There's a general sense that things have recovered to the point where things are similar enough to how they were before market factors break neck reforms. Investors are projecting that this moment will last too long with, for all of the improvements that have been made and an economic boom is projected in the near future. Those who can afford it are buying stocks and property in hopes that they can resell them for a substantial project later. Oh, crap, that's not good. Look at every own state. Medium large decrease in economic output of jobs. Oh, no! The Iron Lady itself seems to be in a better mood, notably being more relaxed now that the rest are being finally paying off. Oh boy, oh boy. Please don't go below 79 billion. Please, advance. Ooh, I like that. Well, you know what get, get, keeps me in good moods? New tanks. Hmm. Now we can do that stuff, but not really. Get some more armor for now. Let's not produce garbage, my friends. I like that when you get a new one, it's already at the top of the list for you, so that's really nice, actually. Uh, I guess we're not gonna. We'd have no liquid reserves. God dang it, that is. Okay, 2.9. Hey, not bad! But, oh my god, the GDP just dropped by 3 billion. Oh, oh no, the, look at the job growth. It went 1.2, I thought it was 1.6 before. Oh my goodness, oh, why do you hurt me so much? Oh. Mutually exclusive, cap, growth, output, and output. Or tension, cap, base. 2% though, it's only 2%. More output's pretty good, cap and growth. 5% cap. Oh, we'll go with flexible automated techniques for that one. Cool. And you just give me one moment, I'll be right back. Alright, sorry about that, but a close call for Miss Mr. Thatcher. So I suppose that I should be grateful that the Herald resigned in time, sighed Dennis Thatcher, as his wife placed one plate of bangers and mashed in front of him and another at her place at the table. Yes, yeah, so unfortunately he listened to my advice that that was, that was, that was coming, said Maggie as she sh took her seat. Pardon your advice? Well, yes, despite his lobbying, I wasn't about to round up one of your friends with all the uncooperative CEOs, dear. Not if I could help it. I warned him and he resigned the same day. Dennis's eyes went wide. There were days when his wife's position was outright terrifying. And and if Harold had not resigned, what would have you done to him? Well, let's be glad it didn't come to that. Regardless, he'd have been removed from his ability to influence the party. Can you say, Grace, dear, I'm not famished? Dennis nodded, raising his hands up for prayer, but saw they were trembling. One of his best friends had come within a razor's edge of what was tantamount to a political purge by his wife. He swallowed as Maggie looked at him expectantly. Dear, what would happen to Harold if he had been arrested? His wife sighed and gave him a weary look. <laughs> uh, offered a deal to work for the government under heavy supervision. Offered a deal to work for the government under... under oh. Oh. At least support will increase by 1%. Uh, I like politics. Political power and stability. I think it's stability for the nation. The economy changed. I don't want to do that yet just because we had a massive decrease in jobs already. So let's wait to do that. Uh, uh, we'll do that one. Introduce the Thatcherites. Many young Thatcherites will shall be shall be introduced into the political scene as spokespeople and advisors in all aspects of government. We shall stand them by, in by-elections and groom them for the next general election. After all, a loyal party is a strong party. Oh. Okay. Sure. Yeah. 99% influence still. Pretty good. Now we could increase this, but I don't like the political power we have. 1.23 days, not bad. Well, at least the deficit's looking a little better. It's not great. Obviously, we we would like it to be a little better than what we have currently, but, you know, whatever. Okay, that's done, that's done. Um, resource efficiency again? Sure, why not? We could use... Oh! Nice, let's grab some of this then. 
Mm hmm. Bulgaria. Or go with India. Thank you. Thank you very much, India. We appreciate your business. Hey, we're also getting some more fuel, even though we are out of fuel now. Ooh. Oh, let's see. Let's go over here. You guys can stop training for now. Go and go back. Uh, you guys. What do you have here? Oh, carrier! Do you have any planes? Hold on. Total damage is quite a bit. They have no planes. Um. Early. Is all you can put is. 30? Really? Even base game, that's a little higher than 30. But, you know, okay, whatever. It is what it is. Uh, let's see. This one has a carrier. This one does not. I'm going to throw you both here, then. There you go. Nice. Are you guys repairing or training or... Oh, that, you need automatic split off. That's okay. We got a lot of naval XP, which is really nice now. Good. This coffee's still pretty good. Woo! 170 factories, still building ourselves up. We could probably use another military factory too, but I'm thinking we might cons- I would like to consider. We can't do it yet. I'm making 40 combat with divisions, but we don't have enough army XP. Alright, for the economy chained. <clears throat> the carrot and the stick. The current position of the UK is still a precarious one, however, it could be also highly profitable. That should believe that it is possible for the UK to leverage its power between Germany and the US to get them to sign deals favorably to England. Pim will need to be worn, worn over before we can start the dedicated or delicate tasks that will enable us to our current position to its greatest extent. Good. Oh, so you're done training. Finally. <clears throat> you guys. Going to train for now, we could use more army XP. Oh, it's slowly going down every day, that's why. Current XP is 1. We'll get enough soon enough. Ooh, can we do... Yes. Countryside, yes. Please. Please. Military training is... We don't need... We'll never need that anymore just because, uh... Well, we already have a lot of loyalty, which is nice. I suppose we can increase this if we really wanted to. Confident we don't need that one. Hmm. Go and do that once. That's fine. So, the base is 82.5%. Our current efficiency is 82.5%. Next month, our efficiency will be 77.5. 77 what the heck? Uh, no, economy? No, 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 no. I don't think you understand. We don't have money for that right now. A conference in Dover? Preparing for the enemy. I like this one. So, foreign investment is what's going to enrich the people of England, and the two superpowers have striving to trump the other will become very rich indeed, and to maximize our profits, Thatcher has already come up with a plan to auction off a contract that will grant extra access to the workers of the UK. So you have to continue to guide Pym to make it certain that the country continues to play the two sides off against each other. Our international course has been chartered. Now it's time for us to, on our journey towards economic rejuvenation, even though we tried that earlier, and with this oil crisis, we're not doing so well. But that's okay. Things happen. We spent a lot on civilian budget. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, we can remove this for now. We don't need to see that. 0.92, that's not bad. 70.92. Let's see. English military. Is there one more? No, that's it. Austerity forced their hands. Yeah, we lose resources, but it is what it is. We get faster construction speed, too. Fixing the issues. Okay. Scottish protests. Those will go away eventually. Uh, when does the oil crisis recover? The only hope is for economic survival is to ride out the storm and pray for a miracle. We'll see what happens. I really want to know when this ends, though. <clears throat> All right, do we have... Ah, yes, urban centers. Nice. Well, trying to get 100% for each one is going to be nearly impossible. But we're almost at 71 billion again. Almost, 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 almost. All right, so let's do that one too. That's good. Conference in Dover, great. <clears throat> ah, the promise of free enterprise. If we were to attract more investment into the UK, we have to ensure foreign companies that whichever superpower they will able to invest freely in our markets without the government interfering. Even though this would help us uh, still main we still want to maintain control of our economy. However, Thatcher believes that there's a way we can get the best of both worlds. She will allude to free enterprise, but never fully commit to it. Using the power of plausible deniability, we will raise more and more investment. Well, we'll see what happens. Yeah, not much we can do there. 97% election season. What is the next election? I should probably pay attention to when that is. Hmm. Also, I want to see... Oh, no, 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 no. Look at that. Now it's almost 5 billion? Yeah, no. No. I want to see how much armor does a normal motorized division have. That's not bad. 125 is not bad. Even though I would like to make these guys even bigger. And that's why we're training constantly. More and more training every day. It might eat into our supplies just a little bit, but that's okay with me. That is totally okay. I wonder how the economy... The other 
countries' economies are faring with this oil crisis. Is there a way for us to see GDP? I said that before, but... Hold on. Taking back their empire. Dakota? Corn Belt, huh. What about Illinois? They're Steel Belt, of course. West Virginia's De Dixie? Oh, well, I guess I can kind of see that. Hey, the GDP went up a little bit more. Nice. I guess I can kind of see that, but they're, they're kind of Southerners, I suppose, but... There's a reason why there was this West Virginia, not Virginia, but whatever. Hint at Scottish oil. As a result of our unification with Scotland, many sizable oil fields in the Northern Sea have come under our control. This certainly has caught the attention of foreign firms who are eager to exploit our resources. That shows plan to make a slip up in her next speech where she will mention the possibility of investors gaining access to the UK oil, raising the stakes and her economy higher and higher. This seems like it could all backfire eventually, though. Hmm. Industrial giants. Keep doing that. That's fine. Uh, what is the culture like in... I assume it's... <laughs> Black. Dixie. Uh, Yankee culture. Pennsylvania is an amazing state. I love Pennsylvania. I really do. It's a really cool state. And that's probably Texan. Oh, Southwestern. Okay. That's interesting. I don't know if I really call it Southwestern. African American. Uh, it is 1970, so I can see... I can kind of see that. Even though... The point of divergence... Like, there's... Between the end of... During World War One to the end of, like, World War Two, there's a mass migration of African Americans moving up to the north, like New York City, Chicago... Even maybe moving a little bit to California as well, where a lot of people from the South, African Americans, moved to, to the North, the Midwest. So, I mean, I can kind of see it. Louisiana would make more sense, of course. It is African American, especially New Orleans, but it makes a lot of sense that they have this. And besides, what other strong culture besides ethnic groups do you have down there? Anyways, regardless, I just the history of the American of the United States is kind of interesting. Anyways, gain some uh, some gains from the monetary reforms. Miss Thatcher, Prime Minister, uh, with a moment of your time, Madams, ask a reporter. Screwing along to the Iron Lady with the microphone in hand as the Prime Minister passed between conferences with her entourage of party members and party guards. Yes, I suppose you might, she said, clutching her purse and stepping up beside the reporter and his camera crew. I'm Midlands broadcasting reporter Lucas Perigold. Today, here in front of the Parliament with Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher. Madam uh, Prime Minister, you've just come off a, from a c c congratulatory tour for the newfound success of your economic policies. Is there anything you'd like to say to the English people directly. Certainly, I like, like to direct your statement, actually. The credit for the success of the English economy of late cannot truly be said to belong to England or to my government, I mean, I mean belong to my government, and rather to the hard-working people of England, she said, smiling into the camera. The English worker is quite unlike the German or the American. The English worker doesn't feel entitled to a high paycheck due to the color of his skin or the purity of his breeding. When an Englishman steps into a factory, you can, without absolute, with absolute certainty, know that he's going to earn his place with the industriousness that is typical for our nation. If anything, my government can only be said to have gotten out of the English workers' way and finally let them do their jobs. It is they, not us, who can truly take credit for the increase in investments and the fall in employment and the rapid growth of economic profits that are predicted for this quarter. And this is only the beginning. Well, she is quite the uh, politician. Fixing the issue with successful reforms. It's a large decrease in the economic output of foreign jobs. Okay. Cool. 71.48. Well, we'll see what happens. Hint at Scottish oil. Cool. Redistribute the money. Oh, improve our poverty and academic base. In the wake of the Civil War, England was in ruin. Thatcher has helped since the uh, country rebuild, expand, and reunify the UK. But despite all this, English people have remained poor. The auction of the contract has left a lot of money in the hands of the government. It is enough to help the fund and expansion in state education and welfare. This would make the populace a good deal more satisfied with Thatcher's leadership. Yes, please. Uh, anything here? Not really. That we really care about. 71.48. I'm going to imagine it's going down since we... We are going to lose foreign jobs to a degree, so we'll see what happens. Happy 1971, though. It is a new year. Oh, my God. Look at that. Oh, shh. Bad words. 55 billion. Oh, my gosh. Hey, but the deficit went down. Hmm. Uh, emotionally, I'm in a ruck right now because of what just happened. But, you know what? Whatever. Whatever. Just don't hurt me. Don't hurt me, please. Ah. What have I done? I feel like Anakin Skywalker now. Oh, what have I done? Ah, uh, we're going to redistribute money anyways. Because why not? Cool. If that's the case, we're going to sell an up upsale uh, deal. It is with such a great shame that we will only be able to trade with either America or Germany, which is sad reality as we could have profited greatly from trading with two superpowers. Rather than making the decision of who will we shall open our markets to ourselves, we will make it make them bid for it. We trust that this trade deal will be highly sought after, and as a result, we will make a great deal of money from selling it. It seems like that's going to only be a temporary thing, so we better watch out. Better be careful. Uh, oil? Yes. Oh, let's get more rubber, because we do have at least one synthetic refinery, so we'll get some more rubber immediately. As much as I love seeing it, the bigger or less debt, that GDP was slashed by 15 billion. Oh, we're, I feel like we're entering another recession. Uh, I, can someone please fix this? Like, what the heck, guys? 
Like, I know, like, that's <laughs> so weird. North Moscow and Moscow are both capitals, and they're so close to each other. Oh, that is disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Please, can I get some more growth? I'd love more growth. Oh, the Euro Republic is here. Republic of Nenetsia. Cord armor. Cool. Actually, how much armor do you have now? Oh, effects of unification. Great. More war support. 130, almost 135. That's not bad. Very good, very good. Well, hmm. How's Serbia doing? Oh. Oh, they are Rex. Oh, they are Rex Protectorat. Oh, boy. Return of the Kingdom. Up to all the trade deal. That seems pretty good for now. Uh, the value of the English market, good. England has a very large reserve of coal and steel, as well as a very good potential to have a large amount of industrial output. As bidding has begun for the trade deal, we should remind both sides of these immense benefits. As well as that would be an awful shame if the other side were, not to, were to get access to it and they were to lose out. This will raise their bids and we will only profit more for a time being. This seems very dangerous. This seems like an extremely dangerous game we're playing. Man, I don't know. Flexible automation techniques, cool. Oh, we're gonna grab that too. Yeah. More resources, please, because we lost some of those resources earlier on with, uh, Clamping down on corrupt companies. Turkey's looking okay. Uh, so this person who won in Iraq, Ahmed Hassan Al Bakar, Vermak advisors. Ah, uh, industrial support. Wow, that's pretty good. Then again, how much I can actually use of that? Well, we'll have to wait to be seen. Wait, isn't that to say that Saddam Hussein led? Was it that? Islamic Republic? Probably not that one. Iraqi Republic? Huh. I don't know my Middle East history that well. I'd like to see China reunify, though. That'd be kind of cool. Western Russia. Oh. Please kill each other down here, please. Ah, the value of the English market. Very good. Raise the stakes. So, thus far, the bids for the trade deal have been decent, but they could be higher. We already know that both sides are desperate to fiercely prevent fiercely trying to curb the power of the other. By handing up the possibility of access to British ports of being a part of the trade deal, both sides will take the auction a lot more seriously. They would not want to allow the other such a... Such a strategic base in such a crucial region. They need to win this now. In which we get small more... Just a few more jobs. Yeah, small increase in domestic jobs. 56.51. Hopefully we don't have an election. Actually, that was probably smarter for us to do this, like, right after election. So people <laughs> don't remember what happens. Oh, yes, do that. Good. Good. 56.5 billion. Yeah, the deficit is slowly decreasing, which is nice. But, mm, mm. Actually, what happened? I don't know uh, the lore of this. Oh, wait, who owns this? Oh, Japan owns Vladivostok, or Araggio. Alright, well, whatever. Um, yeah, we don't see that. Oh, we can be industrialists, that's fine. 100% still, totally fine. We need more, more populist support, which is fine, whatever. We'll get to that. Building is so nice, we have so many civilian factories. Eventually, we're gonna slash the budget, though, by a lot. Nope. Raise the stakes, good. And our proficiency on the world stage. So, it has been a long time coming, but the US, or the UK, is back on the world stage, and what an entrance we've made. After all, we have just managed to technically outmaneuver two global superpowers with ease. Prestige has returned to England, and everyone in the country is better for it, and at least to our workers. Uh, Thatcher has succeeded in solidifying our independence and warding off all foreign influences. Our position is once again safe and secure. We get stability and more domestic job growth in Yorkshire and Oxfordshire. Uh, Oxfordshire. Shire. I don't know, I, like I said before, I am. I am an American. 1.43 billion in terms of deficit. So, let's make sure we don't ever lose this army XP, and I'm gonna do this. Let's gonna duplicate this. Just in case, there we go. And, do we have anything else we will throw here? No, I don't feel like it, nope. Uh, throw in their artillery then. This way we don't ever lose, oh, hold on. We got some more, okay. We're gonna make these guys 40 combat width. So we'll make this, this will be the best infantry, since we're done making infantry. I don't want to make more, I want to make the best. So much political power. I might just raise our efficiency again. Oh no, our efficiency base is 82.5, so we're going to wait until it gets to up to that point, and then we'll increase it some more. Oh, nice. 0.93, not bad. God dang, though, that... Oh my goodness. Hey, the deficit is going down slightly by 200 million. Is that 200 million? Or 20 million. Maybe about 20 million. Proficiency on the world stage, nice. The road will be hard. Well, it is always hard. Oh, uh, let's see. Science the old guard. How much do we have? We have 102. God dang it. Uh, we could use more popular support, so let's go ahead and do 
Yes. So the past is a difficult topic to navigate. The institutions that made this nation strong must be respected, but the history of the royal party is a patchwork of moral ambiguity. Why must we dwell on the past of, of the latter? The Prime Minister will deliver a set of speeches to the people to discuss our many great plans for the future. Now, I didn't choose the other one. Just because we have, didn't get down there yet. We can get that later on. Blame them for the mistakes of the past. I don't want to isolate the elites. We still need the elites, okay? So, I mean, and on the old guard, yes, we could do that, but I think it's best to look forward with the people here. Show that we will show the people what we have in store. You know, we can always blame people for their misgivings and for things that happened in the past. But you know what? Would that really benefit us? Oh crap! The Shah of Iran has been assassinated. Oh my goodness! Oh no! Is Jimmy Carter president? It's seventy-one. Oh my goodness! Uh, let's see. Cool. Artillery. How's this looking? Can we get better. Yes, we can. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, the Shah's death. That is. That is not good. That is. Hmm. Ah, uh, River Processing, nice. Uh, we can do that one as well. Infantry stuff, 70. Good. I really want to make sure infantry is, like, top tier. Well, this is suffering from the same things. We kind of like them, though. Imperial Guard. Mossadegh's Legacy. Warehouse of the World. Oh, you bet we are. We'll do a German version of... Not German version. A British version of Walmart. So, Paulson and Cheadle Investment Analysis, England. And I remember there's another comment I want to get to yesterday as well. It's becoming clear that despite the initial financial shock, the governing administration has much to be proud of with their recent reforms. Company profits have increased by nearly 70% from the days prior to the Civil War, and records have shown a rate of return for investors who have been hitherto unknown in Europe since before the Second World War. On a per capita basis, England is rapidly on its way to catching up the great economies of the world, and the overall competitiveness of its manufacturing sector might as well surpass them in the near future. A special interest to investors is a unique role that the nation plays as an economic gateway that passes through the protectionist barrier between Europe and the Americas. With this advantageous position, the English shipping industry is already booming, and the investors who act quickly are likely to receive huge returns on investment in that industry. So long as London remains open to both Washington and Germania, and stays with the pro-business policies, or relatively pro-business policies of Margaret Thatcher, they can expect near unparalleled trade opportunities. Even the Japanese have begun tentatively looking into opportunities in England, and the ports and the warehouses belonging to the English nation are filling to the brim with goods from all across the world. Paulson and Cheadle recommend investors seriously consider opportunities in England. Thatcher's made us look like an economic world power, even if we can't project it. Massive decrease in domestic and foreign jobs. Jesus Christ, I am not touching this until we... Oh, oh, why does it hurt me so much? Ah! Mm. Ah, so be it. Oh, GDP is almost 57 billion. Oh, how low are we going to go? How low? How low? Oh, we were so close to catching... Oh my God! Oh, shh, Nikes! Almost 23... See, this is what I thought was going to happen. Iranian Civil War? Iranian Civil War. Jesus Christ, Iran. My GDP, why? Why do you hurt me? I mean, a deficit is looking amazing. I love the deficit. Holy crap. Now we are at a point where I can finally invest in the GDP again once we make some money, but... <laughs> why? This game plays with my emotions so much. Why? Why do you hurt me? It's her party now, though. Hmm. This gives more stability. In the eyes of the public, the Royal Party was once a party of the collaborators and betrayal. Now, after two electoral victories and absolute consolidation of the power, it has become the party of Thatcher, with her foes defeated and no true opponents inside or outside of the government. The Iron Lady is in complete control. Why do you hurt me like this? I mean, yeah, seeing Iran fall apart like this, you look kind of cool. Um, it's not very cool. I hope you don't win. Just saying. And then, uh, hello, Farah. Ooh. I'm feeling better now. And you're led by Iraj. Oh, Iraj. Cool. And then, yeah. Mr. Sunglasses, Karim. Imperial State. Sign me up for the Imperial State. I'd like to go on that wild ride. But anyways... Uh, popular support, elite support, looking pretty darn nice. Oh man, we're almost done with, we're almost done with infrastructure. Once we're done with infrastructure, I'm actually going to start slashing the, the budget quite a bit. Um, is there any, there's no place that is fully just inland. Yeah, there's really no point to keep, uh, keep doing that then. Uh, but there's really no point to keep building stuff since we're almost done here. So, we could, but the budget, man, the budget. <sighs> Does everyone have jobs? Like, urban jobs or countryside jobs? It's our party now, though. Calm the elites. Increase elite support. Lose ability of PM of the people. Every own state. The party will increase. Sure, PM of the people. The people of England seem to have forgotten one crucial fact while under the collaborationist government. Ever since the Magna Carta was signed, the country leader has served those they lead and not the other way around. We should remind the people of this fact and in doing so perhaps garner further for support from them. It can't hurt that that yourself comes from humble beginnings. 23 billion. Look at that. Our GDP went up a little bit. It's, uh, invest invest the money. No. No matter what we do, we cannot cut the butt the the debt right now. Invest the money. Invest, invest, invest. Jesus Christ, we have to invest. Anyone have jobs? Uh, yes, please. Yes. Improved oil processing? Nice. What is that? Unfulfilled import request. Oh, come on, man. 
We are the warehouse of the world. What are you doing with your life, other nations? Radar, we can invest in that later on. What is going on? What? Please don't tell me it's India. Who, who's? I love India. Oh, oh okay, well, so be it. we'll get stuff from somewhere else. America. We don't want to play favorites, but you know what? We can't get them. They don't like us anyways. Oh, we try to influence them too. Uh, Siberia, United Republic, the Arabian Gulf. Why not? Nice. Now getting quite a bit more fuel, that's good. Build up all the infrastructure and then maybe we'll build some nuclear reactors. How about we start building some nuclear reactors right now? We'll build it, build it here just because it's, it's pretty safe compared to all the other regions. If someone wanted to sabotage it, then again, if it explodes, then we're all kind of sunk. But that's okay. <laughs> Don't do that. Support weapons. Nice. Best infantry. Add it on some more infantry. Marines. Now we good. 30 combat width. Not ideal, but that's okay. That's okay. Anything else? Industrial giants? Yes, why not? A PM of the people. No child shall go hungry. Well, they're going to go hungry for now. Because we're going to do preparing for the enemy. So Thatcher is keen for the army to show its strength in a war game, warding off any progressive invaders. The question remains, who should be the focus of our display? Both sides could be threats in the future. Either way, the choice without it is made will need to be calculated. Neither the Germans or Americans have our interest at heart. We have to remind both of them of our independence, alongside with our willingness to defend it. Yeah, I don't know if we'd really be able to stand up against America, though. I mean, they're... America is America, but... And we have a pretty good army, too, but... Um, the Iranian aid bill. A ray of hope, of course. The sale of a purchase. What is this? Liberty, stuff like that. Are they puppets? A fashion. U.S. versus Iceland. Okay, it's Iceland. Token civil rights, of course. And they have severe black market trading, imposed rationing. Jesus Christ, what did you do, America? So bad. Actually, can I send volunteers to somebody? No, I'd love to send volunteers. Ooh, better advanced light artillery. Very good. Outdated. Good. This debt is but a number that makes me cringe. So we're done with artillery for now. There's not much we can do about it. That's good. We're done with tank stuff for now since we can't as well do very much with it. How about APCs? We haven't done too much. And we are trying to make some APCs. So let's focus on APCs a little bit more for now. Because I'd like to throw more. Throw, throw, throw it in. Just throw the money in. Because he's motorized. Oh, wait. It's 6 and 4. Yeah, that's not bad. I like to convert these to APCs, so preparing for the enemy. Small but great army. Discuss the enemy. Uh, uh, we can keep doing that, but we're going to wait. <sighs> Calm the elites. Oh, yeah, more job growth, yes. Calm the elites. So all we have done to aid entrepreneurs still has not fully brought enough of Britain's wealthiest to our side, and the absence of their assets is deeply felt. In particular, the old aristocrats and foreign ca captains of industry quays right raise quite the protest at not just our undemocratic behavior, but assistance to the poor, to think that some envision us as Marxists, and it shall be resolved in the quick measures. We are far more than happy to pull favors for the old money that helped us build up the country, as we are to the outside companies who are so generously invested in this rising power. They will be assured that we aim to provide for the poor no matter more than the most basic of assistance, for we are nothing if not proponents of individual effort. Uh, we also remind them that we have been more on the side of job creators than any past leader, and they will have nothing but prosperity ahead of them when our party unites. No, active service is too great for men with deep pockets. Yes. Good. Can I please get some more jobs? Cool. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Civilian austerity. What is more icon uh, iconic than Thatcher and civilian and military uh, austerity? Italy acquires nuclear weaponry, and so the clock move, moves closer to midnight. Well, you know what? Good luck, Italy. Um, I guess we could say that it could be okay to help keep the balance of power, especially if Germany goes nuts again. So, you know what? Especially since you are in the OFN. I, 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 I kind of fancy myself joining the OFN for now. But the United Kingdom has to do what the United Kingdom has to do. Oh, hello. Revolutionary Iranian liberation. Oh, boy. Democratic Republic of Iran. Revolutionary Alliance collapses. Good. That is good to see. That is actually... Oh, shnikes. Uh, completely collapsed. Oh, I didn't realize it. They were allied. Meeting with the bosses. Where would we be without job creators? If you answered anything except abject ruin, you may be harboring Marxist sympathies. Anyways, good Britons must, by default, understand and support our upcoming meeting with the biggest executives in the nation. We must be on the same page with our in innovative entrepreneurs. Understand exactly what they want to prosper, and through that, enact the best policies for all. Hayek taught us how to raise... A how about rising tides for society's riches? Sorry, we mean the most enterprising. Let's all boats. We fully agree to that, and anything else our friends tell us over a nice glass of champagne. 
lose political power, which we have, which is fine. Uh, get more domestic job growth in every single state. Limited safety regulations with minimal safety pff, safety regulations. What a bunch of commie BS, you know. Ah, uh, yes, please, thank you. Safety regulations. Ah, uh, those cost too much money. People don't need that. Oh wow, we're we're actually doing pretty well building stuff up. I love it. You, this is just battle royale, Iran right now. <laughs> German bombing runs. <laughs> oh man. Oh, the Kingdom of Siberia has defeated the Euro Republic. Oh, oh, look at that. Please, can Russia just kill each other? Oh, shnikes, they are. Kingdom of Siberia is here. Oh, he is Zemsky Sobor. Holy crap. That is a big Russia. Alright, let's take a look at this. Efficiency. We are almost there. 0.01%. Just a little bit more. Please take out these guys. Menjiang. Meeting with the boss is good. And the Unions Act. Vote. Ah, uh, let's vote. A union cannot be separated from Marxism. They are natural divided spitting poor against rich until the nation is torn apart. For this, they should be crushed before they even come close to getting the chance. We've already significantly weakened them. But the corrupt bosses will always try to call back to dominance if we do not entirely do away with their organizations. Enter the Union's Act. Once it passes, a union will be entirely illegal. No man should grow wealthy by funneling their hard-earned wages into a bloated bureaucracy. Without the theft, unions will flounder to nothing. Anyone found guilty of trying to organize their co-workers, or rather take advantage of them, should not only be fired, but immediately tried for suggestion and menacing. We know how such organizers operate, and we shall treat them in such vile ways as they have treated workers. Soon our horizons will brighten evermore, for no damaging strikes will cloud it. A day will come when every Englishman is intent to the, sweet, to the sweat of his own brow, working for honest wages and total harmony with their wage payers. After this, can we abolish the minimum wage? That sounds like, uh... Sounds very interesting, to say the least. Let's, ab let's abolish minimum wage after we're done with this. Ooh. That was, uh, the one I want to win, want it might be winning. <sighs> Please show me Fada. Fada is Fada here? Fada still here. Princess Fada. Hmm. Hmm. Thumbs up. Also, like I was trying to say earlier that I forgot about, uh, the event yesterday with, like, what was that? The kid little, named Little Timmy was, uh, went into some house with this woman. That was a woman that tried to run away or get, uh, with her lesbian partner, try to escape from the UK or England, and she... that was the same person there. Oh, another tank division, great! So, kind of interesting, kind of interesting that I didn't realize that it was the same woman there, so... Interesting how things all kind of come back full circle. Can we do that? Yes, we can. Great! Uh, oh, I kind of want to throw on more stuff. Let's go, uh, let's stop training for now, that's fine. And slowly begin converting some of these guys over. 23 billion. Seems like it keeps going down, which is not ideal. Did we lose some political power, but that's fine. Keep raising it up if we can. Good. Oh, wait, is that good? Hmm. 23.14. That deficit's looking good. The Union Act. Uh, no child should go hungry. Vote on the Union Act. Stability. Fascism. Conservative democracy. Vote on that. Uh, let's get down here so we can get down to that quickly, but no child should go hungry first. The central unit of our society is a family. No one that interacts with and cares for each other. Families together form the backbone of an entrepreneurial state. It is a sad reality that despite the best efforts of hardworking mothers and fathers, there are countless poor families who struggle to feed their children. From this day forward, we must ensure no children starves. From morning to night, we shall keep the bellies of our children full, or future full. Milk and schools shall start uh, their day right, and shall soon be followed by free lunches following our great English culinary traditions. The misery once known by the little darling, sh little darling shall go away faster than you can say chipped beef. It is what it is. It is what it is, you know. Alright, we gotta vote. So, uh, UE. 48 here. There's a ton of support here. Let's grab that. I'm gonna immediately just grab it. We should have enough support now. Um, that's over 300 out of everything. So, 300 out of what I'm going to... Actually, let me add that number up off screen here with a calculator. So we have 267 plus 108 plus 140. That's 515. 515. So 181 plus 74 plus 51 is 306. 306 divided by 515 is 59% of support that we have currently. Not bad, not bad. Uh, we obviously would like it a little higher, but I think we'll be okay. Over the horizon radar, good. Let's get the next one too, because I, I want to make sure that we have enough air detection and stuff like that. Once you're getting done building that stuff, my friends. Oh, goodness, we have a lot of radar. No charge to go hungry. Well, for now. Uh, build it over there, and then build it over here as well. Oh, the GDP did go down again. God dang it. 
Hunger Act. Ch challenge Parliament. A great man like a Britain, likely a Britain, so that a divided house will fall. Likely we agree, and that we will let everyone occupying Parliament know that we do not intend to fall. Either get in line or you'll hit the bottom. Don't like our boat? Take a pay raise. You've earned it. What? Your principal? What about the principal of owning a big, beautiful home in the Highlands? Excuse me. Now you say that you'll launch an investigation? Are you sure you want to? Ah, uh, now you're investigating us. Funny. Seems like we have evidence that you own the Communist Manifesto along with stacks of lewd American magazines. Ooh. We planted those, right? Uh, the Lord knows if you lie, as well our courts. See how much easier it would have been to take a Scottish manor? Your insolence instead brings you to a penitentiary south of London. Penitentiary. Eh, it is what it is. You know. And we have enough influence it doesn't matter. And enough support that doesn't matter either. Very low. Oh, how's this looking? Looking pretty darn nice. Uh, we are running quite the efficient machine here in politics. And it looks okay from the outside, so that's all that matters. Actually, how's, it, how's this looking? Good, 0.16. Yeah, I don't know why this keeps going down. We don't have a recession. Well, we might be in a recession. We don't have a depression, I mean. Huh. I know that's looking pretty good. Our construction spending... It, actually, it's only 4%. We could have... We can't raise it any higher. Honestly, it's the military spending that costs us the most. Oh. Actually, that did nothing for us. Um, hmm. Okay, then. Interesting, to say the least. Uh, stop producing outdated garbage. It's not really garbage, but it's just outdated. Ugh. Challenge Parliament. Good. And we shall attract, attack the opposition. Any bold plans will inevitably face fierce opposition. And the many rival factions we've seen Parliament have been frothing at the mouth, waiting for even the slightest errors so they can toss out our reforms. But thanks to some of our newfound support, along with our powerful security apparatus, it will no longer be a problem. Politics is nothing but war with a friendly face, and our foes have twiddled their thumbs across the ridge rather than charge what they've had when they had the chance. Now the initiative is ours, and they shall be shattered to bits. Any libelous newspaper they wish to print? Kindling. MPs speaking out against us in public? Sedition. Hardliners are still scheming, trying to make or tight walk a tightrope and vote us out in the House of Commons, as they will soon learn that we can make anyone seem traitors if we'd like. Hmm. Alright, so Industrial Giants, how far are we coming with that? A little bit of lag, whatever. Minus 1.6 billion. Oh, look at that. Industrial equipment is going up by 6.25. This is going up by 2.5. That's awesome. Secondary schools are going up by 2. Beautiful. Even though this is not beautiful. But you know what? We can't We can't win everywhere. We can win as much as we can. Yeah, our GDP continues to decrease. That is not good. Even though we're investing more liquid reserves, it's still going down, even though we have a growth barely going up. Why must you hurt me? Countryside time. Cool. Imperial State. Ah, the Imperial State has won. Good job, Princess. The Act passes. Uh, if you want to read this, go right ahead. Low pensions become trinket pensions. Every state will get a medium increase in domestic jobs. Proportional GDP cost goes down. We lose a little bit of stability, which is fine. Minimum safety regulations go with no safety reg Oh, God. No safety regulations? Oh, my goodness. Ah, but that deficit. Look at that. Ah, who needs safety when you got money? Ah, uh, attacking the opposition. Good. And vote on fair employment, the Hunger Act. Feeding the children is one thing, but three daily meals are entirely another. And many children haven't got access or seen the ladder for a long time, if at all. This state of affairs will end once we pass the Bullet Hunger Act. And urban centers and rural corners alike, food banks shall open upright with generous government support to ensure that even the meat can find a meal. Furthermore, we will support our nation's great farmers with subsidies to help to keep them not just grow the most bountiful harvest ever, but expand as of yet untiled land, creating more than enough food for all. Finally, we must ensure grocery stores like that of Maggie's youth don't waste their supplies. Instead of growing out, growing out surplus goods, they should be throwing out, they should be distributed to the food banks and be distributed immediately. After all these measures, it's not all fantasy to believe that England can fully eradicate hunger. That's, we are slashing so much, we can't slash more. I feel terrible now. I want to slash, but it's doing nothing. Come on, man. Come on. Let me slash. I'm a big slasher. Sometimes. Sometimes. 0.19 still. Ah. <sighs> Military spending keeps going up, which I don't like. The Fia Fani Massacre, is there going to be no end of sight in Rome? Oh, Jesus Christ. Italy, what's going on? Vague ideas, IRI control? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, the localization is still not done yet, which is fine. You know, it happens. But still. I'd like to meet more of the Industrial Giants. You know what? We can. You gotta keep an eye on political power, though. The Hunger Act. Good. And now we should do the economy, small decreases in jobs. I really don't want to do that one. 
Discuss the enemy. Now that we've chosen who the main threat is to the UK is, we can start to draw plans for what strategies they are likely to use if we were to invade us. Uh, from there, we'll figure out how to counter out those attacks. We, there will be no chance of our enemy taking control of our country. We shall never be subjugated again. And now we have to wait to get a little bit more political power so we can compromise with the UE, which has so much more support. So, that is our next goal. 27. We were, weren't we at 26? That's not bad. 27 is not bad. 27.33? Oh, the deficit went back down a little bit more. That's fine. Yeah, military spending keeps going back up. Um, use military factories. The mil having more military factories raises cost. Civilian spending. Huh. Alright then. What are we investing in? Ooh, yeah. Radar, infrastructure, factories. I'm only going to keep one thing of factories for now. Because um, then we're going to really slash things. Eventually we will build more synthetic refineries as well. Synthetic refiners, I think, will be good. Uh, does this tell you how much... I kind of wish... Actually, you lose fuel from military factories. Huh, I didn't realize that. Grab some blueprints. Um, ah, finally it'll do it. So, the Prime Minister is trying in a war against those seditious elements infusing or infesting our economic life. These fascists and communists have not been tossed away into the darkest cells are fawning before us just to keep their freedoms even if it means abandoning their own vile principles. Uh, let's see. The businesses, the... Come on. Come on, game. It even means abandoning the major businesses, economic giants, all opposed to the government are now firmly under the thumb of the royal party. This success represents another step toward the resurrection of our nation. Good. Good. We'll grab some of that as well for more anti air. Happy 1972, my friends. Uh, let's go do that. That should be enough. Ooh, that's pretty close, though. Out of 215. 250. Yeah, that's barely enough support. That is just barely enough support. Oh, my goodness. We need like 257. But we have 288, so that's not too bad. Alright, so we got to save some more to get to urban centers next. We currently get 1.6 political power day, which is pretty good. So we have 27.27. No. 27.35. That deficit is not looking bad. I don't want to make too many divisions, but... Oh, man, we really need to... Can I convert one of you guys? So, let's take a look. So, right now, the GDP... The military spending is 4.08 billion. If I convert one division over to become the best infantry, will that increase our debt or the cost for military spending 4.08 i'm going to say no this is why you want better divisions not more divisions so that's a really tanky division too great the thatronomics has worked well we'll see what happens if they actually do work uh let's see let's grab some blueprints though we may be working with them now there's no guarantee to how long this relationship may continue that there's still plenty that we would like to get out of our temporary ally they have several blueprints that we would like to borrow and since they will not be willing to hand them over for free we'll have to steal them fortunately for us mi6 is quite adept at capturing such material they work with thatcher to secure the designs that will considerably improve our technology good thatcheronomics despite the skepticism of the old guard prime minister thatcher quickly living up to her nickname as iron lady has seen unparalleled success in her efforts to gain command of the english economy while the market is still essentially free on the smaller scale the prime minister has successfully invoked monopoly laws against any corporate entity large enough to compete with with the authority of her government, and displays yes men and puppets in command of the remainder. It is a free market so long as it doesn't stare, dare stand taller than the lady. Members of the royal party have thought they could control her as a puppet are stepping back, beginning to understand that their own vulnerability should they too attempt to control the rising star. The more cooperative class of party members, however, are ecstatic at the exchanges. Government revenue is booming now that Thatcher's government has tight control enough to prevent tax cuts, not to mention that there are more ideolo ideologically motivated members of the government no longer need to concern themselves with stemming the tide of corporate money flooding into the pockets of the less scrupulous politicians. Aristocratic and fascist governments traditionally do make a financial mess. They always run out of other people's money. Low noise amplification. Cool. Yeah, we can't get there. Air accidents. That stuff is all nice. Let's get some more uh, planes. Yeah. We have neglected our Air Force for far too long. So, really... Um, we're not looking too bad. We're really not looking too bad. Even though These videos have gone on so long because there's so much to do or so many focuses. I love that the devs put so much love into this mod. It feels like it's going on very long, and it is, but I'm kind of enjoying it. So We're not going to train yet just because I want to make sure we save up XP, maybe? No, 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 no. We don't want to save XP. Go ahead and train if you need to. You guys are looking okay-ish. How many more tanks do we need? More of the act passes? Great! English history is written. Our poverty rate will increase. At least support will go down by quite a quite a good chunk. Holy cow. But 90% is still pretty good. Grab, grab some blueprints. And now we shall next do not this. I want to save up to get more political power first. So instead, we shall do what? Can't go down there yet. Uh, let's do this. New SPG. Efficiency will increase. I think efficiency would be better for now. 
So what we need is firepower, plain and simple. We can harken back to the days, to the past we all like, but that is not going to help us as much as modern artillery would. New so for propelled guns would give us a huge advantage over our enemies, also providing our army with the means to rain salvos upon them with the maneuverability and accuracy they desperately need. The more of these order, the better. Uh, yeah, we can't do that because we have to wait for the voting stuff. And I don't want to do the other one because that gives us two divisions of marines, and I don't need more divisions. I, I want more tank divisions, but I want better divisions, not more divisions. And we could always use more military efficiency, so... After we're done with this, do we have any other state that needs more infrastructure? Because Jesus Christ, we've been building great. Siberia has defeated the Commissariat of Western... Oh my god. Oh, Russia looks like it's going to unify very soon. Infrastructure-wise, we've done great. We've done absolutely great. Military austerity? Oh, uh, invest in that. That's good. Oh, why does GDP keep decreasing, man? Why? If I do this... It actually does something good. It's good. But... I know it's not wise to always decrease stuff, but... We're seriously running out of things to do. After that, um... Oh, we already built the nuclear reactor. How about another one? How about another three? How about five? There you go. New SPGs. Military industry... Let's do it military industry next. So, oh, that's a cool focus. Cool, there's not really too much to talk about there. That's okay. We'd love to do this. We'd love to do that. Why is my GDP decreasing, though? If you guys could tell me, please let me know in the comments below, but mm, I don't like it. Alright, 1.6 a day, that's not bad. Campaigning, yeah, let's not campaign yet. We don't really need to. I actually... Look at reserves. You know what? Construction costs, even if I decrease it now, decrease costs by 5%. We have less than a billion being spent on civilian, or just construction spending, period. Like, man, even if I decrease it, it's not going to do much. Let's see what happens. 909 becomes 10808. That's not going to do much for us. And how many factors do we lose? Honestly, I'm kind of okay with that. We have four four full lines plus some. That's not bad. That's really not bad. Alright, let's see. Let's get this. Good. I can invest in more construction growth, but at this point, we don't really need it that much. Alright, let's go invest in the other one down here. Uh, it's not that, uh, the Leech Act. The opposition is weak and we slowly learn to tread very, very lightly. Alas, we cannot truly know what the pl they're planning unless we fully, uh, unless they are fully under command. Thus, we must pass the Leech Act in the name of the national unity. This act will not liquidate our opposition nor criminalize them. Though what it does is ensure that their activities are al entirely aligned with their national interest. No meeting shall go without our approval and switch sur and sur careful surveillance. No vote will be made without a con consultation. If the opposition wishes to be insolent, deride us as undemocratic or other such drivel despite our good graces, then they shall find themselves looking at a lifetime of hard labor. Yeah. Yeah, hard labor. Love it. 90%, 100%. Uh, let me do all that stuff. Oh, good. Advanced uh, APCs. Uh, we could grab that, but let's grab this up first. I really want to make a lot of a APCs. Nice. We got plenty of APCs, actually. With, a, uh, with this, change motorized. Let's go to APCs. Organization stays the same, but armor goes up by three. It's not bad. Keep training, guys. Mili Our manpower is not looking great, though. 25.26, why is it going down? Why, 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 why? Seriously, why is it going down? We spend more on the military now than anything else. Oh, actually, it did go up. Oh, crap. 4.5. Is it nuclear reactors that cost things? It might be. I have no idea, though. We're building more radar stations. Do these cost more things? Increases the effectiveness of the radar range. State with better detection. No, I don't know. But anyways, let's expand our control and then end our episode. The greatest strategy to befall England in the later half of the 20th century was not one brought by, our, by outside forces, rather it was internal strife and malaise that brought so much suffering onto the British people. We must recognize that a similar situation may still develop and, rec and that we must do whatever we can to prevent it. Every block must have a police officer to remind the people of the laws never far away. Every street must have a camera to see what officers do not. And every town must have people ready to enforce the law and stamp out any dissidents before they take root. The Civil War showed that we, what we were doing wasn't enough and we shall do far more now. Cool. And we shall end. We shall go ahead and do I want to, uh, I'd like to get more royal party, but spend that spend that. 290 out of probably 15. That's pretty good. So we'll end the episode here because it's gone on long enough. But I hope you enjoyed today's episode, guys. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow when Russia might reform. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.